What's going on everybody? Come back. I want to talk about the Anchor PowerCore 10,000. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing today? If you found this video searching, make sure you subscribe and uh, share and like and everything. But I want to get into this the uh, the uh, anchor power core 10,000 it is uh, a pretty tough little cookie let me tell you uh, this thing I got an iPhone 8 plus and that's how small it is it's kind of thick but that's okay it's small enough to drop down in your pocket if you need to uh, it does come with this little as my daughter says squishy sack which I think is pretty neat because I keep an iPhone cord in this little sack um, now I've been using this like I said since before we went to Disney um, carried it with me through Disney was able to charge my phone on the go no problem whatsoever um, matter of fact in pretty quick time I never have really timed everything uh, it charges fairly fast um, the way you know how much power you got each one of those dots is 25% so when you're full, that's 100%. You drop some, that's 75. You drop another one, that's 50. You drop another one, that's 25% battery life left. Um, let me show you on this side. There's where you plug up to charge it. That's where you plug up to charge whatever you're going to be charging. 10,000 milliamp battery, milliamp hour. Get that right. Um, I have charged my phone... David Crockett State Park, perfect example. Didn't have a play, way to plug up 110, so I couldn't plug up extension cord, couldn't plug up phone chargers, that kind of thing. So I strictly use this thing. Uh, Chloe kept her phone charged off of it, off and on during the day. Then I charged it, my phone at night with it. So basically, we both were banging on this thing pretty hard all weekend. And I know when we got back, it was down to 50%, which I call that a win-win a situation. Um, I still don't have a scale to weigh things for you guys, but I think even for hiking and camp, you know, backpacking and stuff, this thing would be a jewel, a godsend. I know there's solar panels and you could do it that way, but sometimes the solar panels only charge so fast. This thing charges pretty quick. You can put it up, done, or like I said, you can charge it at night when you go to bed. And next morning you got up, you got a full phone, and this thing still got plenty of juice to go. Um, what will it run? You could probably charge a small, uh, la uh, not laptop, uh, tablet off of it. I have charged my GoPro off of it. I haven't tried the uh, drone battery yet. I've got to get the drone back out and start flying it again. Um, I haven't tried this camera because you can, you can always hook up to the, uh, AV on this thing and charge it that way other than taking your battery out like I normally do um, You might be able to charge this camera with it. I would think you would be able to if you can charge a GoPro um, Should be able to charge that one. So anyways guys um, Highly recommend the anchor power core 10,000. They have other sizes. You can take a look at those I will leave a link to this thing on Amazon down below. I highly recommend one for your gear like I said, if you run in a situation like we did at David Crockett where you couldn't plug up 110 anywhere, the only other way I'd been able to charge my phone would have been in my truck. I'm not a big fan of doing, you know. I, anyway, I was live streaming too. Oh, that's another thing. I forgot about that. I was live streaming. I had this plugged up to my phone when I was live streaming that night down at David Crockett and, you know, kept the phone at pretty good percentage of battery. And once I got off air, bumped it on up there um so that is it for that i recommend highly recommend the anchor power core 10,000. like i said they have bigger sizes too they have other products i have another product i want to bring you from anchor that i use daily i use this thing daily this thing stays on me daily too um but it, I, i'm really impressed with the anchor stuff good stuff good product i highly recommend it and if you'll go check out down below, there's going to be a, a link to the Amazon to this. 
plus my Swift Wick link if you go check that out and go buy you some socks for hiking, bicycling, whatever you like to do, running. Um, and they're made in the USA. So with all that said, I'm done for now. See you soon. Be prepared.